Buy that. Yeah. Okay, you're going to put my fat self on YouTube. Take that back. You're already there. <laughs> You've just I know, forgotten. I've, I've seen them. Actually, I love the fact that Who they... Who painted your hat? Uh, nobody painted my hat. Heather, bought, Heather's sister oh, bought it for gorgeous. me. And oh, awesome. she, they went to New Orleans. That's what she brought it back for me. Because it has the New Orleans thing on it. So it's still like the wind. It was some, some... I don't know why they were selling them. And you can pin it back yeah. <laughs> if you want to. All right. I CD was stuck. The oh, color bleached kind of out on pillowcases and towels for the better part of a month. Oh, I'm sure. We're going to change it, though. If they're going to talk crap about you and tell you to go to the grocery store and get a box of color, we're going to make it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said it. Her, her legs are all like short and buzzed, you know, to like the number two, so it's nice and tight, but her feet are really hairy and there's the dude when she walks you, so she has like a little moppy Clydesdale feet. Just so you know, we're on now. Oh. Anything you say can and will be oh, used sorry. against you in a court of law. surprise. Sorry. See what I have to put up with all day? I know, it's tragic. I don't know what just the, hating every second of it. I don't know what the boring people do. You get on my nerves. Yeah, I've got any respect for dog hunters, though, because, you know, it's a tough job. It is. You can tell your client to be still, and most of the time they listen. There's no dogs or dogs. I never think about that. Hey, bring on these two for a dog haircut. Exactly. Well, he makes it. We'll see what happens. I'll just apply. You really can always make it. It turned out like purple with pink coconuts. That would be interesting. I don't know how we would get the polka dots in it uh, without bleaching. You don't understand the kind of luck I have in what <laughs> The polka dots would just happen. I don't know, Virginia. I have a pretty good assessment of it after three years of knowing you. But you know how that runs. <laughs> Strange. Oh, it's not dark. We have a new dragon for the collection. Mm-hmm. Team spirit dragon. And the first person to take it home and add something to it, they would attach it. And what? 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 They would attach it. Yeah, now they 
something, you know, not necessarily focused on not nothing, you know, the chest, you know, just looking for a beautiful contraction of breath. So the song, Staying Alive, by the Bee Gees. Wow. Here we go. Not running. Staying alive. Yeah. I love it. I don't know if those are. It's kind of hard to do. Huh. Yeah. 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 That grosses me out. But that's how straight guys are. I guess she went the wrong way. Oh no! I have one point, so she was not going to be with people I was discussing with. Well, first our girls. Yeah, yeah. 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 Has well, you're not a barbarian, for God's sake. I think Hayden's in second. Hayden's guy's in second. Ew. You know? And Hans Scott. Mm -hmm. Probably what you... Yeah, yeah I and mean, he has a, this little um, car he carries around. Oh, yeah. And he's even worse than he's skating. Or that's all that. Yeah. Yeah. on Sunday when we were out cheering for the tour of Anchorage folks that some of them had actual icicles of boogers coming out of their nose and down their face. When we were kids, we used to do trapping and that would happen. Because they're out in 20 below and your nose is running. What's up, baby? Towels. Do you want to get here? Do you just have to wait for it to thaw when you get home, or do you just rip it off and take a layer of skin off? It warms up. <laughs> Some things are just beyond me. Getting your snowsuit off on the trail, trying to pee at 20 below and get it all back on, <laughs> priceless. What they call that, snopsicles? <laughs> They practice on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saturday. One of the ladies actually dropped trow and peed outside and it was below zero and I was like Sweetie the guide hair. I bow to you, like I am never gonna have to pee that badly. Just the guide like, hair gets a little frozen during that process. <laughs> what are you thinking? I don't know. Plus you're like dealing with multiple layers of clothing. Right. How do you even keep it all dry? And then you have to shake dry while you're out there, I mean. Can you have me roll? Yeah, that's going to be hard. That's what, what? God. It depends. Yeah. <laughs> like that the lady that chased the astronaut, you know, and she wore her little uh, diapers. Yeah. diapers all the way cross country so she wouldn't have yeah. to stop. You know you're psycho. Yeah. You are going to wear diapers to get to the guy. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it really depends on what your fetish is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there is a, a whole new there is a fetish, That's and the fetish is diaper game. wearing. <laughs> That's just gross. I know who's that? Who's that? Oh, uh, the the uh, Octomom. She was she was hard up for some money, so she did a video with a full grown man wearing diapers. The diapers and, and, yeah. Well, like, who's that Vitter? Who's a congressman or something? He wait. Did, I just with, see uh, the. She was, yes, she was like dressed up like a dominatrix and everything. The, I could just see the octopus mom doing her thing there. Running around with, you know, daddy, with daddy. Man a diaper. Yeah, right. Well, when I was, when I, my dad got mad at me because when Shane was younger, I would tell him the, the uh, stories like Little Red Riding Hood and whatever, as I saw them. Uh-oh. Take the word a color tag. So, Little Red Riding Hood is a fashion victim because, and an attention whore. Because who the hell goes through the woods in a red cloak? You all know that you go to uh, that little catalog and get camouflaged. And yeah. You're just dying for attention, hoping for a wolf. And it's always some big hairy guy running around in grandma's panties trying to get you into the bedroom. You know, and who the hell packs carbs? The bitch is going to be a diabetic. Have you looked in the basket? You know, I mean, and, uh, yeah, and the, the three little pigs, come on, give me a break. You know what I'm saying? Pork chop sausage and salami there running around bitching and complaining over interior design. None of them have a girlfriend. 
<laughs> and they dance and sing and play all day. And he built his house of hay. Woo! Oh, you go, girls. You go. They're all gay. You know. <laughs> my dad was like, you can all teach your kids that stuff. I'll teach my kid anything I want to. You know. So give me a break. The brothers Grimm, those were just sadistic bastards. Yes. Ugh. Gross. Scary. Let's shoot for Wednesday and what's your Uh, how long are you here? I'm um, here. I'm 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 here. i am here 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 i am Rip alert, that was 10 minutes. Anyhow, it, uh, it better care of myself if I have to. Um, okay, so we're going right now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you were like, oh, the keeps. <laughs> well, the other thing is, I've been working on some real hard emotional crap. But I haven't came back anyway. But it's hard. I mean, it's like, I'm working on that. that is, some writing is coming out there because it's hard to explain the emotional side of the way to people that don't have it or to people who aren't connected with the emotional side of themselves and their way. Right. You know, really, it's how emotional it is. So this is emotion. And I mean, like this, I've said the first people that have to deal with it, of course, are always like family, friends, coworkers, clients, whoever you're interacting with on a daily basis. But I'm the first one to, I treat myself like crap. And then you blow up, get up, gain weight, you know, you yo yo back and forth or whatever it is. No, my health. So that's you know, I don't know, they got to deal with the emotional stuff, too. The funny part is, is when I was 25, I did a bunch of it. And that whole 40th birthday thing affected me. And now I'm feeling better. A lot better. It's been a month. Wow. I'll have to tell you about my hairdresser. Tell me about her. Bye. All right. You got a handle on it over there, boss? I do. Man. Stretch. All right. Next. Come on in. I haven't had a chance to sleep yet. No, I'm just here for dinner. Oh, no, that's all right. You can sit up. More, more hair the merrier. Maybe I'll start slipping around and walk. There you go. Throw some oil down there. Now, what are you talking about? So, you'd be proud. Scott's got his car in the shop. Getting uh, the wiring kit done. He's getting gauges all redone and all the carburetor and all this bunch of stuff done on it. Um Roger's auto? Okay. Roger Auto? Yeah. Roger's Auto? Apparently they've been working on quite a bit of older hot rods and stuff. It was all cheese about that. It was interesting driving it up there the other day because he wanted to drive it because it was only, it's only just like not even two miles from the house. And the roads were pretty clear so so you gotta go through that crash. Okay, okay let's rinse, yeah. Right the product works in 10 minutes, it's awesome. I think it's it. So funny. Of course, I would have expected you to make my hair look like really bad. Because you laid it out like that. At least one last time. So what makes this stuff work in just 10 minutes and the other stuff? The chemistry of it. It's a fairly recent product. So the whole thing. Is this one of the ones you learned about when you went down to Las Vegas? No, this one's here. This is different. The fun part is, 
part about this is I've been using it on people and trying to figure out, you know, figuring out different hairs and how it works on different textures. Finding enough people that's not good that you can play with it a little bit. Seeing how it works on, and how it behaves in different hairs. Because I know how the browns behave. So that I started doing on everybody. Now we'll figure out how the red browns behave. Scalp will cause burning. <laughs> no, I'm so pretty good, Joseph. I just said I had a 
a really good laugh after the first um, training session of the season because I got completely sweaty under my little ski cap. And then, of course, since it's a wicking hat, it completely dried out my hair before I got home. And I pulled off the hat and I was just like, that is the most frightening hat I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we spend probably well over $500 in one gas. Really? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So we've kind of tossed the idea around like, if you move up to Anchorage or closer this way, you can <laughs> Give me that. easily um, <laughs> put that $500 close to the maybe. That's what she know. looks like on any other day. <laughs> Oh, girl, that's the wreck. <laughs> that was like, oh my gosh. Truly frightening bedhead. So how's the engine? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Got my article. Mm -hmm. You guys getting spring fever? Real hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just Cause I learned all about boogers yeah. this week. Freezes, it causes the saline content to change. <laughs> That's a question that comes to my mind, and I'm not sampling. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I truly believe that 
truly had never even realized boogers could freeze into an icicle on your face. It blows my mind. A whole new world. A whole new exciting point of view. My point of view is never going to be that obstacles are okay. But from way up here, it's crystal clear. <laughs> Now we're in a whole new. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's I cut them. Oh, I wouldn't have. <laughs> Looks. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Silver creeping through there, like in the Yeah, you probably get them pulling here. <laughs> and the other thing that has happened is, is over time, even though it's a bit wider, we all remember last. What really, I think, has to do with the processing that you're doing. Stay present, stay present. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Don't you lose that um, they've, Essentially, oh, yeah. they've just closed it to foreigners during the anniversary of some uprising. Oh, yeah. They don't want people there to celebrate. People will get in if they're busy there. Oh, this one's gone away. Declaring yourself off limits just makes people more determined to get in. Great great shot those guys are fresh or leg guys, huh? Yeah, the other guys military, eight years military and something stupid. Years ago I was is this a film you don't twist? Never ever in a million years thought those guys would have done something that stupid. I understand the thought process to get to the original song. See it once in my lifetime. Yeah, it's fun. You know. So what do you think about charging the guy that had the gun for the murder? No, he took it around and showed it at film festivals all over between here and... Because I guess they're charging that guy with, like, what, second degree murder or something? Even though he's not the one that pulled the trigger, he supplied the gun and the ammo. I don't know, that's kind of a fine line there, huh? Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to turn up to you. Yeah, I don't think it's pretty excessive. I guess. I just, I just you might have supplied the gun, but he didn't make him pull the trigger. I just, still, I just don't understand the front thought process of that man in the first place. I've gotten used to that, but my hair wasn't long enough to really get tangled in me. Yeah. Well, Yesterday I went to yeah, run my fingers through it and caught it tangled. <laughs> like, well, I haven't read it too much about it just from what I've heard on the news, but I wonder, you know, how many rounds did they go before, you know, they do they actually go around a time or two and then it happened? I mean, I don't know, I think about things like that, I guess. Yeah, how many times do they Yeah. They get lucky how many times exactly did they get lucky? I dare you to jump without a parachute. If you don't, you're a pussy. <laughs> Pretty much that whole mentality. I'm a pussy. I'll do it. You're dead now. It don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. Come. Here you go. Come. 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 So, What do you think of it? I like it. Do the time with Joseph.
so you should call your appointments. What should I call them? Diva time. Because <laughs> you help everybody get their inner diva to show on the outside. That's funny. What, were you reluctant to add some red to your hair at first? No, because I knew you wouldn't make it look crappy. Like, Why do you trust me like that? Because you never let me down. You, and plus, I'm your advertising. If I walk outside and I look horrible, people are going to be like, I'm not going to him. That a girl. Exactly. <laughs> Awesome. So, and why do you keep coming back? Because I love you. <laughs> That's why, right there. You come get your hair done because you love me. I love that. <laughs> I love you too yeah. once they're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh.